Hey everybody, this is Old Duke and we're going to uh, replace some valve stems in some wheels. I think it's a, it's a do-it-yourself thing and it's important to be able to uh, around the farm and the homesteads and all. I think it's important to be able to uh, do the maintenance on your tires. Uh, what I have here is a Harbor Freight uh, tool that breaks down the tires and uh, you use it to replace the stems. I had a problem with some valve stems. I've never seen it before. But the cores came out. I don't know if you can see that. Here's what you can end up with going down the road. The center of it just blew out. I guess the sealer around the stem just gave up. But anyway, I had two of them like that. First thing we're going to do, let the air out of the tire. <clears throat> You'll need one of these four ways they call them, but that'll, that'll put your uh, that'll install your uh, take your valve core out and it'll install your valve stem. We got it all. I bought this here at Harbor Freight for about 70 bucks. And I've changed a lot of tires on and it's been good. If you want to get it close, as close to here as you can, you can get right along the edge of the rim. It won't hurt to spray a little bit, you know. Soap around there kind of make it easier to break. Now they got this bar that comes with the this bar comes with this. And it's a tire tool. But it's all, 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 you also use it for leverage. That one-handed right there. That broke that bead. And you kind of want to step around it. And, Get it down good. Clean it up. Gotta have a knife there to cut the inside loose. All right. There it is. That's how easy it is. Then we'll put another Chinese valve core in there. Made in China. Couldn't find one made in America. Spray a little soap around it. Just enough to make it go in easy. That's just liquid dish detergent. Alright. Got that in there like that. You have to pull the cap off. Use your four way. Do that on. And then you just pull evenly. Until you hear it pop. You can see it pop in. And it's that simple. You can bounce it around before you pull air back in. You bounce around, get the bead come back. And then you'll push it out, and then you'll be able, you might have to take the core out to get the air for it to, for it to seal again, but then you'll put the core back in it and air it up to the pressure it's supposed to. This, power goes down over top. This is for changing, taking the tire completely off. And the tire sits over here like this. And then this goes down over top of it. And this holds it down. It screws all the way down and holds this piece on there in the, in the center. So you can see where that broke on the weld. I'm going to have to make it out of a little thicker material than what that is. 
but it was weak at the weld when it was manufactured. Also, there's where is this piece here goes up through and goes through the bolt pattern and it has to be able to move in and out for different size wheels well the little piece of channel iron that held it in place rusted out so it doesn't stay in stay in place anymore so i'm gonna have to weld something on the bottom to hold that but this is the handle where you move it in and out and that keeps the wheel from turning as you're working on it to break it loose you'll have to buy an extra tire iron because you're gonna have to get in one spot and break the bead over and then you'll have to keep working it working it over and then keep going across just like that until you until you get the bead up on top of the rim but that'll be another one i just want to share this tool with you and show you how easy it was to replace a valve stem i'll have four new valve stems in and i won't have to worry about it two of them were bad so Hope you uh, like this video, and I appreciate anybody that watches my channel, and we'll see you later.